Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. You notice me moving the table? The flowers are moving. I'm moving the table with my arms. So anyway, uh, I'm doing it here. I am to do the daily vibe for whenever it resonates. Now, you know, the timing is fluid. There's a such thing as divine timing, okay? So, divine timing means is when it's supposed to happen. It will happen when it's supposed to happen. Keep Every word that comes out of my mouth is, is part of the message, okay? Pay attention to what you're doing. Something is about to change. It's going to be really big, whatever it is. Page of Wands reverse. Now, the Page of Wands reverse is typically not good news. Okay, it's not good news. Um, something is there going to be some. Unfortunately, that is a setback of some sort. So that's like not good news. Um, oh, I'm not sure if we could be dealing with a Leo. We don't have to be. These both represent Leo. But we could be dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius as well. Could be dealing with anybody. We all take on these energies. But this is illness. This is sickness. This is lack of confidence, poor health. Um, and this could be as well losing energy. Okay, this is lack of energy, uh, lack of ambition. Um, it could be it could be fear too. Somebody is probably held back by some sort of fear. Uh, now, the strength card reverse can mean so many things, but um, this is a, like some a, like despair, depression. This is also very controlling energy. So wanting to be in control, but this is out of your control. Somebody looks to... Mm, three of Cups reversed. Now, the Three of Cups reversed is... Um, a lack of emotional growth, um, parting ways. Uh, this isn't something to celebrate. There's no celebration here. Um, there's a lack of discipline as well. Something is going on. Uh, Three of Cups reversed. Now, this is... We have some competitiveness here. Now, somebody could be being terminated. There could be a termination of so a termination or something like that. Hmm. Ooh, nine of pentacles. Now, the nine of pentacles is somebody that is very stable, secure, hardworking. Some, this is overwhelmed. Trying to do too much. This is this is an independent person that is trying to do too much. So we do have somebody here that's trying to do too much. They're trying to do too much, and they may get ill. Somebody may get ill because they're pushing themselves too hard. I just got to be honest with you. And this is like out social. You got to be careful who you're hanging around with at this time. Now, this is a card of arrogance. Unfortunately, it is. So we could have somebody, you know, that's not heeding a warning. And they're socializing, you know, visiting their friends. And they shouldn't be. Just saying. Or they're doing something. Because hmm, this is friends when, you know, this is somebody who's overly confident in reverse. It is somebody that is overly confident. confident. So, we, you know, it won't happen to me. It won't happen to me. This is parting ways. Ooh, 
Ooh, hostile environment. We have a hostile environment here. And it's funny because this is enemies disguised as friends. This is gossiping. I'm not sure if we have some gossipy women here, some gossipy people. Uh, this is people being disguised as friends. They're not really your friends. And this is a hostile environment, a hostile situation um, with the Five of Swords. This is betrayal. Betrayal of friends. And it's interesting because the other day I was thinking, and I think it was about two days ago, I was thinking, it's kind of fun, it's funny, I was just sitting on the couch and I was, I guess you could call it kind of like a meditation. I was thinking, um, it's funny when, and I almost posted something on Facebook about it, but I didn't. Um, but it's kind of funny how you, f you find out, you know, you get this feeling, you get this thought that one of your friends really isn't your friend. That they're talking behind your back. So you may have a friend who's not really a friend that's talking behind your back. This person really isn't your friend. You know? So that's what that's this is friends who really aren't your friend. So I'm I'm just wondering what is going on here. This is somebody, this is betrayal. The five of swords. This is walk away. Walk away from these people that steal your energy because this is the energy. This la is, you may be dealing with somebody who is stealing your energy. This person is bad news. They're negative. They gossip. You, Somebody is dealing with a gossip. And you know it. You know it. And then we have this independent person. And maybe being weighed down by this person. So we have this person over here that is negative. Negative Nelly. Okay. It's a negative Nelly. Negative Nancy. Whatever. Male or female. This person um, is miserable. And this person is very stable, solid, secure, and hardware. They may be jealous. So they talk behind their back. So there's somebody talking behind somebody's back. Because they're jealous. Not really your friend. This would kind of like be a hater. Okay, this would be a hater. This person says things to your face that are completely different than what they say behind your back. So this person is working really, really hard to obtain success, subset, su to obtain success, hard work or enjoying life, but sees, you know, this person is looking over here at this betrayal, looking over here at this friend that really isn't a friend. So this person is probably feeling burdened by this, you know? Do I, should I be holding on to this? Should I be, should I continue to deal with this person? Because you notice this one's looking over here at this person that has been betraying them. So there is a betrayal over here. This person uh, lacks energy, lacks ambition, lacks determination, lacks drive, um, is uh, gossip. So we do have this gossip over here that is talking about this person who has worked really hard. But this person sees it. It's very clear. There's a separation here. There's a separation. There's a separation. This person knows what this person is doing. relationship problems we do have some sort of relationship problems here uh, look at these two tens there's an we have an end of a relationship somebody is splitting you know how it's funny the split we have a split that is coming we do have a split somebody is about to walk away and whether it's with a friends or a relationship whatever in relationship it could be a friend relationship or it could be you know a loving relationship this is independence Somebody is being is overwhelmed by the bitchiness, the gossip, the uh, lack of ambition or the lack of drive or the the uh, belittling that's going on over here. We got somebody over here that is belittling this person. And this person is like, you know, I'd be better off by myself. I'm, I need to just split. It's funny, I never know where I'm going to put the cards. So there's going to be a split of some sort. This is, this. There's. I don't know if we're dealing, we could be dealing with a Leo. Um, doesn't have to be, but this is, there's some, definitely some sort of betrayal. Big time betrayal. We have somebody here that only looks out for number one. 
very controlling, a lot of control, big ego, big, big ego over here. Ego, ego. These are both ego cards. No morals, no morals. This person has no conscience and has no morals. As long as they're getting attention, even if it's negative attention, that's all that matters. So, you know, we have somebody here that there's parting ways. In a relationship, we have two, two, we have a relationship, whether it's a friendship or it's a love relationship that is separating. It is definitely separating. Somebody is deciding to walk away. It's like, you know what? I don't, I don't need you. I don't need you. I really don't need you. I don't need to, to carry you. I don't need to carry you. I don't need to uh, hold on to you. You're, this is, the stress is killing, you know, I can't, no. No. So this person is deciding to go their own way. They're deciding to basically sever the ties with this person over here that is draining them. Yeah. This person has a chip on their shoulder. They do. They refuse to compromise. They uh, want their own way. They're very disagreeable. This person is sitting on a high horse. angry. This person has anger issues. They're angry about uh, what life has dealt them. Instead of dealing with the issues, they sit there and they bitch. They bitch, 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 bitch. I can't. This is a woe is me. Poor, poor, pitiful me kind of energy. And they bitch to other people about this successful person over here. It's complete jealousy. So anyhow, um, hmm. We have somebody here that refuses to compromise. This is refuse to compromise, refuse to compromise, enjoying power, control. I, I know this. We have a know-it-all over here. Ooh, Ace of Cups. It's emotional. This is Ace of Cups. It's emotional. It's an emotional... Uh, well, this typically is a new start in love. But this is a betrayal. It's a betrayal. I need to get another card. That Ace of Cups. Fool. Reversed. Somebody has been naive. This is very naive. Reckless. Bad timing. Impulsive. Poor judgment. Somebody has made a poor judgment call in regards to who they give their affection to. Because this is affection. This is a flood of emotion. So we, we're having somebody here that um, is feeling very, very, very emotional about being... This is like being taken advantage of. The full reverse is being taken advantage of it is. So we have this independent person that's doing very well that has been taken advantage of by this person that has been uh, pretending to love them. It's a betrayal in love. It is. This is being taken advantage of. Foolish. Yeah. Seven of Wands reversed. This is uh, this person is losing their power. They are losing their power. They're feeling power. This is slander as well. We have an enemy over here. An enemy disguised as a friend. This person is bringing this person down. Here they are. This person over here is overwhelmed. 
They're overwhelmed. There could be fear. This is fear. Fear of something. Fear of opening their heart. Fear of not being loved. I also feel like there's going to be a fight. Okay? There's going to be a fight here. This person likes to fight. This person does like to fight. They probably make some try to like make people cry because this is emotion. This is like crying, really. The Ace of Cups. You see that there's like something about crying, like to make other people cry. Or this person is very emotional, very defensive. So we have a very defensive individual here who is losing their power, or they want to be in control because this is losing power. You know, falling down. Um, and very angry. So we have an angry person over here that is, uh, what's the word? It's like slander. They're gossiping. They're slander. They're talking about this person. This person knows it. This person sees it. And I feel like they are going to, uh, it's like, this is the end. Tens are ends. They're going to end this relationship. This person over here is bad news. Bad news. One more card. Seeing clearly. Yes, this person does see clearly what this person is doing. So if your gut, and this is the gateway to intuition, the Ace of Cups. So your, in, so your intuition is telling you, your intuition is telling you that one of your friends or somebody you're in a relationship with is not really your friend. It's very, very clear. It's very clear that this is not healthy at all. So I, I, we have a split. Somebody is deciding. They're seeing clearly that they need to split from this person that has been belittling them, talking behind their back. Uh... Stealing their energy. So there is going to be a rejection. There's going to be a taking away. I'm not going to give it to you anymore. I'm not going to give you anything. Somebody has definitely abused their power. And they're going to get fired or, or terminated from the agreement or the friendship or the relationship. There's strong control issues here with this and this and this and this and this. So somebody has been wanting to control somebody with their emotions and uh, very emotional energy, very uh, defensive energy as well. So somebody uh, is about to be seen for who they really are. And they're, it's like we have this person that is very capable of going their own way and sees what this person is doing and they are going to, I think that they're going to be terminated, terminated from the relationship or terminated from the business or terminated from the job or terminated from the friendship. There is a termination here. There is. There is. It's like, I don't need you. I don't need you. Good luck.